Why don't you have shoes on? Yeah, that's good. Jordy, you ready? Sarah, get in your car. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Entertainment Throws Nation, and due to the fact that we have had COVID, our club size is a little smaller, and some of our kids are, you know, coming on different days, so it's it's resulted in kind of smaller groups. We are trying to gauge where Sarah's at. She's done a front squat. She did actually wind up uh, hitting a PR. We're going for singles at 90% plus and seeing where she ends up. So this was kind of funny, Harley goes for a max. She just kind of got to the bottom and thought it was like too heavy and just quit. And then after this, she actually loaded up a little bit more weight and made the lift. Mindset's a huge part when you're pushing those heavier percentages. That upper back external rotator strength is a little weak. Understanding how to breathe and create that nice bracing so you can stabilize everything. And then how do we get the elbows up and forward so that we're gonna be in a nice strong position on that front squat. So one of the things we've always been real big on is we call it GPR, gross posture rebalancing. So we've been adding more things to do with using our drill bands inside the weight room. And here we have Mason. He had some big deficiencies with his hamstrings. Therefore, that was kind of affecting his core. So here again, we've been adding a lot of accommodating resistance. This is kind of a really good exercise, especially for those athletes that tend to pull forward. This is really teaching them how to stay more engaged. And so we like these band uh, clean pulls. Plus it's also forcing the athlete how to basically contract faster as the weights, obviously the resistance is increasing as they pull. Close. There you go. Make sure those bands are on securely. We got a little far, it was moving as she was moving through her reps, and so one edge came off. So something you always wanna make sure that you're paying attention to. Reach all the way, reach all the way to the front. It's a reaching lunge, the front. There we go. You feel that getting your hammy? Good. So here, basically, one of the things we've been doing is really trying to incorporate the core more. We like this kind of dip hold position. So what it's doing is kind of forcing our athletes to kind of stabilize, get the back in, feel that angle, proper load right with the upper body. Stretch. Good. Mondays is our big kind of setup day. We always go through again. We're trying to get our athletes to understand how, how all the lifts are supposed to be executed, focusing on the key things because I can't be with them every single lift and every single rep. But what we try to do is make sure that they're set up and come here. Keep my knees on top. So once we do that, then we're gonna focus on technique and we're gonna do our pillar drills, movements. We're gonna address those technical variables related to, again, our chain reaction. And then we're gonna be able to go out and throw the next day and apply the things we're working on technically in the gym. Did it get you? The snapper drill. This is the one, basically what we do is we connect the heel. If the upper body comes too active and pulls in, that's gonna change the angle on the foot and the knee, and that's gonna, the band's gonna snap up, and that's what it did with Mason. Right, around, short, long. So it's hinge, shift, reach. That was better. Hinge and shift, hinge and shift, so my knee can go in. You're going wham. Yeah, and your hip is collapsing, so your axis is falling. Big toe. That was much better. That was better. Yeah, see, don't get, don't let the shoulders turn. The point of these drills for everyone is to feel the positions. You've got to create the new pattern. We got to drill out and put the new pattern in. If I can do 100 or 200 a day, I'm doing 500 to 1,000 reps a week. I'll get the pattern done in a matter of weeks. If I go out to practice twice a week, did you snap it again? What? Did you snap it again? What'd you do? <laughs> that was better. Your shoulders cutting you across. Come around, go. That was a lot better. <laughs> 